Hi, welcome to the channel. And today we are going to uh, set up the admin account for AWS using the console, AWS console, which is the UI of the AWS. Uh, this particular objective we are going to achieve using the IAM, Identity and Access Management, which is the one of the uh, fully managed service uh, offered by AWS. Uh, as a best practice, you should not use your root account. Uh, you should immediately delete the root keys, which are secret key and access key pertaining to the root account. And alternatively, you should create uh, as many user possible for different responsibilities which has to be done. For example, the first, first and foremost requirement should be to set up the admin account uh, instead of using the root account and then use uh, several other uh, different level of uh, access for different uh, users that you need at, in addition to this. So let's uh, get started. To complete this object, we have to be uh, logged in with uh, AWS Management Console using our credential of the root uh, account. So currently I'm uh, logged in with uh, AWS Management Console and this is my first screen that I see. I should uh, click on the services to find out the IAM under security, identity and compliance category of the service offering. And uh, I see the IAM over here. Identity and access management is the full form of it. And uh, either I can click over here or I can type uh, if I'm not able to you know, navigate out of uh, this all uh, categories and uh, the, the service portfolio they have uh, here. So they have lengthy uh, offerings. So if I am not able to uh, navigate to my services, uh, in just that case, I should alternatively type and uh, locate it, but uh, this is visible here. Let's jump on it. Uh, from this uh, uh, dashboard of the IAM, you should see in the left uh, navigation pan, the users. Click over here and uh, go to uh, the add user, click over the add user button. Type. Uh, the username uh, as I'm trying to set up the administrative account, uh, the admin account. So I'll uh, put it as an administrator account and this is going to be my alternative account for uh, root account. So hereafter I'm not going to use the root account uh, any further until unless I need it. Uh, just in case for billing and other support uh, things when uh, I need to do it or any uh, governance or monitoring of the entire system as a as a root account if I need it to do. But uh, I'll be I'll be able to do maximum of things uh, with uh, administrator account. I uh, I'm not expecting the administrator to go and do such a development activity using AWS API, CLI, SDK, or other development tools which are offered or complies with uh, AWS. So I will not be giving the programmatic access over here, but uh, if you feel that your admin account should uh, also be performing or required to perform certain uh, uh, AWS uh, API uh, integration or uh, using that AWS API or AWS CLI or SDK, uh, he should be performing some uh, development tasks, then you should uh, keep this access as well. But as a primary uh, uh, way of uh, accessibility, I'm giving him a full access to the uh, AWS Management Console, which I'll be deciding through the policy uh, further. So second is, uh, the third one is the password. So here I'm uh, not going to do, uh, let him use the auto-generated password, rather I'll be generating the password as per the policy which I have set uh, set for the entire account for the users. So I'll I'll type a custom password which I'm going to uh, convey to him using some uh, mechanism, right? So I'll be uh, following the policies of the password or uh, guidelines for the password that I have customly set for this account. And uh, then last, the fourth part uh, is uh, to enforce the user to 
reset his password when he is attempting or first time successfully logs into his account. So this will uh, force the user to set with his choice of password so that uh, uh, there is no uh, threat for the admin account uh, in terms of uh, compromising the credentials, right? So I'll go further and click on the next permissions. And uh, here I can uh, create the group. Uh, this is this is the efficient way of uh, no, uh, creating the group and uh, giving the policies uh, to the roles and attach those roles to the group so that uh, you can control a number of uh, related user who is going to do the re uh, related activities uh, assign the same group. So you can uh, assign those users to the same group who are uh, expected or anticipated to do the similar uh, job role. So uh, either we can create a, a, a complete uh, new group or uh, if we have any group uh, created earlier uh, that will be displayed over here and you can select and move forward or you can alternatively create a group if you do not have any. Uh, then second alternative to the whole process of the group is uh, to create a permission of the existing user. So suppose if you don't want to create a group, but you have a user and same policy or the similar policy has to be attached to the same user, then you should be able to the uh, able to copy the permissions or policies from the user that is already existing with some uh, uh, some policies, right? So uh, I don't have any user. Uh, this is the first user I'm creating, so that's the reason there is no user uh, displayed over here. Third one is to directly attach existing policies directly. So uh, this will allow me to uh, do the uh, direct selection of the policies that I'm going to uh, give it to or supposed to give to the user administrator that I'm creating. So I'm going to give this uh, policy administrator access to admin. Uh, which will allow him to do the various uh, job functions, uh, including all all uh, uh, accessibility to every user that is created. Uh, for him, he will be able to govern, monitor, control the access of the different uh, users. So uh, this is the one actually. Sorry. So this is the one uh, which will provide the full access to AWS services and resources. That means. This is as good as uh, the root account. It will be having most of the accesses that uh, root account will have. So uh, it is going, but uh, not all of them, but uh, most of them. Yep. So this is the easiest way to do it. But generally, the efficient way uh, would be if you have a bulk of user to uh, control, then uh, definitely you should uh, go with the uh, adding the group and uh, creating a role assigning the role to the group and uh, role will have the different policies where you can make a custom uh, uh, role with, with the different uh, pick and choose of uh, policies that uh, make sense for any user that you are creating next thing would be to tag it so if i want to tag the uh, group or user that i'm creating so uh, I can say that uh, this is all going to be admin. So I'm keeping one tag as a uh, admin over here, but you can put uh, several of the tags. So uh, am I going to limit him for some of the services or accounts or production environment or uh, dev environment? Uh, these things can be the, the tags over here, which will help me to filter out uh, his activities. I can monitor him uh, based on the tag names and a lot of a lot of things that I want to uh, do I can do over the tag. So uh, AWS supports a lot of uh, APIs using or CLI uh, CLI. Uh, you can do the CLI commands and uh, revoke or give uh, more permission to based on the tag names. Uh, next, uh, we'll be reviewing what we have given. So first thing we have done is we have given a username and then access type for him is a console access, not a SDK, CLI or API access uh, to him, uh, which we have created a password. So it's a with password and a console password uh, type is a custom. That means we have created a, our own password. It's not auto generated and uh, he needs to do the password reset. 
Uh, so there is an enforcement rule uh, selected for him. Permission boundaries uh, are not set. So there was a permission boundaries uh, on a just previous uh, screen of uh, here. So if you choose uh, add group, I just want to revert and show you. So here, this is the permission boundaries where uh, you can uh, limit the control and say that uh, this is the maximum permission the user can have. Right, so these kind of advanced uh, uh, feature or capabilities are added, so you cannot utilize if uh, needed. Uh, for now, we'll be good with the basic one, but uh, here is what you should uh, play with and uh, have a strong and a strict, more strict uh, as per your requirements. So if your organization require more strict rules and policies to be defined for him, the boundaries will help uh, to uh, maintain that. Okay, so next would be finally create a, a user by clicking the create user button. Uh, your uh, uh, bar, uh, user is created now and uh, if you want to save him, so then he can get uh, login instructions. You can just click over here and uh, give the, uh, this is uh, going to use your uh, email uh, exchange servers local. So either of, uh, the one that is configured or there you can use to send out the mail. So it will create a mail and uh, then you can change a little bit of uh, uh, things and then uh, you can uh, send the mail to him so that uh, he can uh, he can log in using the same uh, same credentials. Otherwise, this is the URL and we are going to get uh, Cognito. I'm not able to see the Cognito here. So that should be um, new window for me. So yeah, so I'll just uh, launch uh, Cognito. And uh, so that I'm not uh, creating a collision with the one that I'm already logged in. So I'm not forced out to uh, log out and then use the admin account. So this is what uh, I'm going to do. So this, this is the URL that I'll be using to Login as an admin account uh, to verify if the account is created uh, successfully and is usable. And uh, same time, you also uh, must download the CSV file. This is going to enable the user if he is going to be a CLI or SDK user, right? So this is where he, uh, the user will need the CSV file. The CSV files are constituted of two different uh, fields, the secret key and the access key. So let's have a look on this. Uh, so this guy is uh, going to have the secret key access key as a blank. And uh, then console URL where he is going to log in and his user ID password is something you have to convey se separately for the security reasons. So these are the constitution of uh, the user accounts uh, Detail, right? So when you create a user with permission for CLI SDK, you will have uh, uh, the access key and secret key as well here. So since this is a pure console user, we do not see this fields populated. Uh, we can always modify the user later to give more permission or less, right? So right now we do not give access type as a uh, console CLI, sorry, CLI and uh, SDK. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do now is uh, to log in here. So my administrator, uh, I am user is administrator. So add, and the password is uh, going to be the password that I have set for him. And same thing I can convey to him uh, using the emails. And this is what uh, the administrator has to do once he is trying to log in. So once he is authenticated with the password that uh, root account has created for him, he will be forced to use the uh, set, reset the password for himself, right? So first of all, uh, there is a old password. So same existing password should be validated once again, and then give a new password that you. Uh, admin account uh, wants to set for him. And uh, once done, both the password matches. 
he will be reset with the password and uh, should be inside. Yep. So here you see the account as the administrator as uh, 19 skills uh, to learn, which is the root account uh, domain. And uh, let's compare. So here is the root account, right? So a couple of things uh, he will uh, definitely be having the grid out. So uh, he is not a root account. So this is the root account for him. This is the additional information you will see then uh, this guy, yeah. And he is a IAM user. This guy is the AWS uh, root account. And this guy is the admin user. So that's the reason you see uh, this difference. The rest of the things as uh, he should be able to use maximum of his things. He should be able to control most of the thing that uh, root account can do it. Only threat we are neglecting is uh, to uh, to create uh, by creating the admin account is to uh, not uh, using the root key secret keys uh, uh, access key on the root account. So uh, that is something you should take care of by going to this this place. Uh, so here you should see the credential for uh, users. So sorry, delay this part sorry so delete your uh, root access keys and uh, here is the place where uh, you will see the root access keys so this should be deleted for the root account and uh, uh, you you should have uh, the the access key secret key if needed to uh, programmatically access the aws uh, services then set up a new iam user and do it so uh, signing off for the session from the lab side but let's uh, have uh, any question you have please uh, put it into the comment and i will be more than happy to uh, uh, share my thoughts or experiences uh, thanks a lot uh, for being patient and uh, uh, learning along with me thank you